to you today about something that has become increasingly controversial, namely the rapture of the church. For some recent years, some people of Western Christianity have created this very Semitic. A lot of people, I think, uh, the word rapture be dogmatic. But then I taught the book. Once I understood it, I couldn't see it. And it became doctrines. So I hope to others that are essential. We must have all matter. So I'll use that as rapture of the negotiable. I think they gather his election. Secondly, rule and reign from Jerusalem. He is third, Jesus refers to this in talk about it. They expound. Book of Revelation, chapters six to eighteen, are all about the great. Are over fifty prophecies in the Old Testament. The Day of Wrath. Was it the Day of Distress? No. Tied this period of time. The great they call it an epoch of time, a period of time identical to now today. I'm going to try to explain the rapture, but I will be. I say that because I get very distressed when and then they cross a line and I I am at least on some point seven remember who what so I'm going to start with the opposition One will be first starting at 13 and verse 15. Paul writes, We tell you that we who are still alive until the coming of who have fallen asleep, there he's talking about. will come down from with a loud command call of God and Christ will rise first still alive will be left and we will be forever so the encouraging engagement and you want to strengthen us Say it's not in. I think this is the fifth century. There was a monk. Jerome was brilliant. He was 
with Latin. This is called and in this word, the Greek word is pazzo. Works. It's just synonyms of one. Oh, well, the word rapture isn't in English. This is just a translation. These are just so that Paul fourteen times in the New Testament. Overhearing a wealthy uh, God conversation with him, preach the gospel to him, and and finally this man came. Okay. This in verse thirty nine. Philip did not see him again. And Philip, and Philip from got a, a I'm back. But the word that Luke uses sure it's the same exact. Second Corinthians, when Paul says in verse 2, uh, 12, 2. 14 years ago, was caught up to the third heaven. Whether it was Jesus said, they follow me. Give them eternal life. They shall out of my hand. Father who has given them me, give them out of my Father's hand. And the Father are one. Now the word using there both times is harpazo. It's the same word. So there are words we take for find that in the NIV, for example, but out of Isaiah 14. Uh, I am. That's another word that it's in. There are lots of concepts in the Trinity. First it says Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. to the doctor said this before 1840 really lazy actually there are this morning to read I come in a book called can we sure uh, by Mark Research, they have whole chapters of it's the one with the second wave after the both disciples of they believed in that. But here's what is very, very sinister. Revolt, it means. 120, and that is the Latin word of Philistine and Latin version of Philistine. Look, 
was desolate. And so then when they were the real Israel, it must be spiritual. It must be like, yeah, yeah, that's it. And so then and then ultimately it became church dogma. Replacement. And sadly, I hate to say, anti Semitism through the justified fact of the matter is, Jewish book. All right. We are the ones who understand Israel's role in, in God's plan. The rapture, if you don't know his role in God's plan. That this is a new ism that you just want to get out persecuted. Well, first of all, let me just rap in Luke 21 speaking about you will be able to escape happen so here the Lord and I say yes sir I'll pray it right now when you are flee to another all about fleeing persecution. Corinthians it talks about how out of a basket. He was now here's another rapture scripture for Fortune Philadelphia. The church plus. He says, I am going to Tribulation that is going to come on the whole earth. A direct promise. Some people word from should be through the tribulation. Just the problem with that: the believers in the great tribulation are. They're killed in chapter 11. They're killed in chapter 12. 13. They're this Fruchtenbaum says, if that and he's doing a lousy job. Chapter 12, it says the, the Antichrist is in Jesus. Well, that clearly contradicts Confuses persecution with two very distinct things. Now, persecution. I said it this way in John fifteen. I would love you as its own, but as it is, the world. And that's why the world hates you. accepting Christ and persecution is in the tribulation is a very unique and specific purpose why else do you think God spent so much ink I also love that scripture in Acts. One person he said, "Why are you people?" And that is clear, and that it implies 
confusing. That's I'm going to answer the rest of this. Actually. A gathering of set apart ones. A gathering of set apart ones. Not appear, but once. There's its future tense. Start. It starts in Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 1, wait. They are baptized into the, into the Spirit. That fell on them. Then in 11, when Peter's preaching, three times, when we're actually two times in church with Jewish uses this phrase in Christ or in in Christ that's the church it's not only does the Holy Spirit come in, into Christ God fully identifies us with Christ in Christ when you and I come to with Christ. And we are now in the mind of the Father, we are the body of Christ. We are his ambassador. People say, yeah, but but it says tribulation. Yes, but it's identified as a and that's what I'm No one could count from every language. And they stood before the Lamb. One of the elders came to me. I answered. He said to me, Tribulation. Watch their robes. They So the book clearly identifies this in Revelation 7. Now, points out that Greeks could count up to leaves people. People standing in front of the throne. On the planet, so the idea of Christ is not anymore. It's very much John. John population saints. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they be scorching heat. For the center of the throne will be wipe away. Their eyes. Notice that line. Feet. Listen. About his bowl on. Seared by intense heat, and they cursed. Him. So there's an image of something down. Your people. And this. And this. 
Hitchcock turn is Jesus coming. Another great rapture is three where Paul and when Christ, who is your life, in glory. I love that. Being. Again, going back to First Thessalonians. Seven parts of time, and I'll. Read. So, what does that mean? Where is it now? Well, according to the scripture, we would say in Psalm, enemies. So he is from where the father. military work battle the military commander comes up. then it says the voice of in the second the archangel there's only one archangel it's Michael so Michael repeats of God, and we'll go back to the trumpet in a minute. And that's when the dead in Christ rise and who are still on the earth. Riot, chapter 14. The dead Lord comes, he will put his feet and the Mount of God split new valley mountain moving to the over all the in the air, that's on the going back to Acts 1 the disciples It would be. I just they just looking and looking for them to say, okay, shoo, off the mountain. The angels say this, man Jesus, who was taken is going to come. Well, now we come to what I think is the parallel with speaking at the Last Supper. In my told you going there, I will come. Where is he? Another way. Gentiles is that it's important. That people were betrothed. Or you recall that Joseph when had a wedding. They'd never been together. But go through the divorce. Okay, but he had to divorce her. They, but then there comes to his an addition to his father. His bride, and they'll. Beautiful illustration. When will this happen? I have one point here that 
take you to another passage of scripture, really important. First, I declare to you, brothers, flesh and blood do not for sin. Trumpet. The trumpet will sound. I hear he's mentioned in uh, and we will be changed. In victory. Now, look to in the Greek, it's used. Divine mysteries and sometimes it's demonic mysteries. Same thing in the like for us, mystery means he Paul used this word to mean this wasn't this is really clear when you read the church. Been disclosed, and it's and it. Okay, that was not known. Now it's. That's how he's using. Because immediately you. The seven judgments. There's seven seals. It's bowls of wrath that we don't enter. So we automatically have the pre-trib, mid-trib. Uh, later, no way Paul is referring to He, and he uses now this is really if you can get this and this but Paul Here are the festivals. A couple of weeks also called. Then there's this break. And Red offered it, it was sinless. Section and Pentecost refers to the Feast of Trumpets refers to the rapture and them and defeat their enemies on the earth. Yes. Same letter, First Corinthians chapter. Sacrificed, therefore, let us have a festival. Therefore, he's referring to both the Passover and the unleavened bread, festival of unleavened bread. Then in verse again, then in verse it, been raised from the dead, the When he comes, he will bring with him all the will the kingdom 
dominion and authority and power are under his feet. And getting ready for Jewish, my wife and son are Jewish. Trumpets is 100 trumpets of three staccato something. I don't understand it. But 99th trumpet. Time now for the period of time for the for the by it appears in that point. Why? Why the why the rapture? Another great scripture, and that is in second. Concerning the return of the Lord Jesus Christ and our being coming from us a prophecy are asserting that yet until the apostasy occurs, Christ, the man of sin, will be revealed, the man doomed to destruction. Called God and Don't you remember when I said this said for the secret power of lawlessness so that the one back will continue to The lawless one will be revealed. Duty of his appearing. Okay, so what is he saying? Arnold Fruchtenbaum, dollar, and he said the word apostasy is, but it actually in the Greek and when you reread. to return until the and when the departure happens time then Jesus will return and overthrow him okay I mean how are we how do we live and I'll conclude with Peter's admonition to us don't forget this. With the Lord a day, God, anyone to your uh, hyper Calvinist to a earth. People ought you to live. How should you live? In godly lives. It's coming. You speed it. Fire and the in the heat. Now this Peter was a fisherman. He would have used the word melting because it seemed like melting. He said. A nuclear war. His promise, we are Lord of this, make every blameless, blameless scripture for salvation to everybody. To live self control godly lives in this present age. This Doctrine used to always be 
story of a great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. To purify us for himself. Therefore, this is what I love this. It's Jesus. Of the church. What it's all about. And then we will with him. We'll rule and reign with him. The doctrine of rapture is not it's a person.